Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Hardcore. Oh boy. Hello, trust me. It seems a lot harder than it looks. But oh, I've never known someone to take much interest in the making of sausages. But I'll give you the recipe just in case. Here you go. Mind you eat them fresh. Don't tell me what to do. Looks like it's inside this building. What the heck? Uh, it doesn't say which one to turn in or where to turn it in. Oh, it's the flight path. Uh, we'll do it later. So we got a recipe now that requires us to have like insane skill. Level 60 with cooking. And we are nowhere near that yet. But soon, hopefully. So yeah, in the previous video we talked a lot about pets. What the better pet is to level with. In my opinion, uh, it's not even a close like call or anything like that. It is a boar by far. Um, it's going to be hard to like change my mind on that. Um, when it comes to dungeons and you play as... And when you, when you play as a Beast Mastery, uh, or anything else, I would say, like any spec, I feel like cats and serpents and uh, dinosaurs is the best. Um, there's really good dinosaurs that has crazy good attack speed, and also cats is just the average well-known um, damage dealer as well when it comes to pure damage. So, if your main focus is to do high DPS and don't really care about... I would say quality of life, of keeping the enemies away from you. Uh, then you could stick with a cat. But in my opinion, the boar is just the best by far. And the, the basic reason is that the boar has charge. It will keep the enemy in place. Uh, it has a mini stagger and it does decent damage on charge. However, it's not as good as a cat when it comes to raw damage. Uh, the damage output from cats is just way beyond what a boar can do. But a boar is like having a tank buddy. It will tank better than cats. And also it will just... Uh, it will just be the safer bet in my opinion. But when you do dungeon spams, it will be better to have a cat next to you. That's right. I have a task that I can't do while I'm guarding. In fact, it'll take you far from Loch Modan. Your perfect chance for adventure. There is a dwarven armor smith whose work I admire greatly. His name is Furin Longbeard, and his skill is unmatched. I need a new shield, and I must have one of his. The problem is, Furin is far to the south in the dwarven district within Stormwind, in human lands. I can't imagine why he would live there so far from Ironfall. The humans must pay him a king's ransom to keep him there. So if you want to travel and don't mind making some money, then will you send Furin my request for a shield? The silver stream mine to the east ran dry long ago. It was converted by the Miners League into a storage depot. But now kobolds have moved in, putting their filthy paws on good dwarven tools. We'll root out those vermin soon enough, but the League wants someone to get their gear out of the mine before we warriors tromp in there and break things. It'll be a tough delve. You might want cohorts at your side. The gear is stored in Miners League crates throughout the mine. Good luck. Also, if you don't know, your pets have, like, insane experience gains. Like, insane. <laughs> um, until they are the same level as you. So, our pet is now level 11. We are also level 11. So, the pet will get next to zero experience. Until we level up. And then the pet will get, like, crazy amounts again. It's like 5x, maybe 10x or 100x even. Um, until it catches up to your level. So your pet should normally be on par with you or one level below. Uh, depending on when you tamed it, obviously. But yeah, that's the experience that I received so far. All right, so it seems like we're going to go all the way down here, and then we're going to fly. Looks like we're not going to do anything else here. 
We're gonna fly. And we're gonna go to Stormwind. Okay. I wonder if we're gonna go to Westfall. We can't see that deep into the guy just yet. But my guess would be it's gonna be Westfall. And mark my words, you won't find faster griffins anywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms than the ones right here in Thelsamar. You have to get this to Ironforge, ah? Huh? For a small fee, I can put you on the back of one of my griffins and it'll take you there. How does that sound? For just a few coins, one of my griffins will take you to Ironforge. From there, deliver Brock's list to Golner Boldertoll. You'll find him in the Deep Mountain Mining Guild. That's in the Great Forge district of Ironforge, which is right where my griffin will drop you off. Speak to me again when you're ready for the journey. I also want to learn daggers because we have a plus one agility dagger. I don't know when we're going to get a deal wheel, though. We might actually have it already. It would show as a passive, but... I don't see it here, I think. Maybe deal wield us something in survival. Oh, we leveled up again. Level 12 now. So we're taking this first uh, to increase our pet's uh, total HP. Uh, just to make our pet a lot stronger. Obviously, if you do PvE content, you would rather take this one if you want to go into Beast Mastery. Uh, it will make your aspect uh, of the Hawk do more damage and increase the range attack speed by 30%. It's it, it's a chance on proc. You'll have a 5% chance. Now that quest hand in. So I think I did it already. But the guide would pick it up. I think it does send us to Iron Forge. Oh, sorry, uh, to Stormwind. Ooh, dude, I think if we play our cards well, we could most probably do Dead Mines within this video. No, if you ask me, there's no greater profession than a miner. And if you ask me, there's no greater miner than a dwarf. Ah, the lastest list of Brock's best pupils. I have a batch of honorary picks ready to go. I just need to chisel in the names of the students. Here are the honorary picks for Brock students. If you've already been to Thelsamar, then you should fly a griffin back there. Take the picks to our griffin master, Griff Thurden, and speak with him about a ride back to Thelsamar. Okay, but I don't want to do that yet. The Wildhammer Dwarves might have fast steeds, but can those airy peak griffins stand the heat of the Great Forge? I think not. You have to get these to Thelsamar, eh? That won't be a problem. As long as you've already been to Thelsamar and spoken to Thorgrim Borrelson, then you can take one of my griffins back to him. For a small fee, you can buy a griffin ride to Thelsamar, as long as you've already been there. Griffins will only fly you to places you've already been, so be sure to speak with every Griffin Master you see, so you can fly to him later. You've already been to Thorgrim, the Griffin Master of Thelsamar, so now you can return to him. And once in Thelsamar, you can deliver the picks to Brockstone Seeker. Speak with me when you're ready to go. Okay, we're first gonna go train, because then we have Mend. And Mend Pet is one of the best abilities um, as a Beast Mastery Hunter. So that would heal your pet if you could, if you don't know. It says you get it at level 12, but we are. Oh, no, we're not. Never mind. We also get Arcane Shot level 2. Arcane shot level 2. Distract. Distracting shot is not bad. At level 20 we get our movement speed, which is great. Nice timing, bro. 
Sometimes you can wait like up to two minutes here for a train to arrive. Wing clip inflict five damage. It reduces the enemy's movement speed by 50%. Wow. Uh, wing clip is uh, the melee form. So you have a range from as well, which is concussive shot. Uh, but I'm not going to bar it up. Because I'm a beast mastery hunter, dude. I don't need extra help. Right? Okay, now I'm wondering about my skills, dude. No, it needs to be four. Okay, so. We're only gonna train Arcane Shot and Men Pet. Uh, okay, distracting shot, you can actually make some good plays with it. But I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Uh... Oh man, are you kidding me? <laughs> it wanted to me to do a quest on the train. So I have to catch the ride back. Okay, I'll skip it for you guys. We'll just catch the ride back and do it. I I, I should have read the guide, my bad. Okay, it wanted me to grab this quest. Money be me name and rats be me game. A vast you scallywag. R. Are ye looking for work? We got a serious rat problem down here and not enough hands on the poop deck. What do you say? All you needs to do is take this here rat catching flute and play the melody around the vermin. We'll follow ye to the ends of the world. Just capture five of the little buggers and bring them back here. We needs them alive. Going pretty fast. There's one more there. Come on, come on. Can we make it? I don't think so. Can I help you? These will work nicely, baby. My brother needs them still ticking and kicking, else they go sour. Oh, ho, ho. You don't want to taste no sour rat kebab. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? I have to grab the next quest. <laughs> Runs a rat kebab operation on the other side of Deep Run. You needs to take this here crate of rats to him before they go bad. Get a move on. You have ridden a tram before, I. It's easy. Just step aboard. With I did tell them. Enjoy the ride and keep your arms and legs inside during the ride, lest you be peg legged for life. Okay, we also have mail from the auction house. So we got some. You got mail. You know? Something sold, which is great. Every few silver helps at the moment. Take the train to Stormwind. This is where you do your first aid. Oh, man. I did it already. Not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? After Red Ridge Mountains, do we go Duskward? I don't know, what does your guide tell you? If you're not following a guide, I don't think you should be playing hardcore. Um, that's just my opinion, I guess.
but I've died more than my fair share. All right. Talk to Nepsy when you get off the tram. Turn in brother Nepsy. Dude, I'm so tired of the train right now, okay? Can I just go? One of you also has a quest for us. You'll find no finer rat kebab this side of Cosmo, Dan. Poor Monty. Ever since the Gnome Regan incident, he hasn't been the same. That boy has never seen an ocean in his life, let alone being some kind of pirate. At least he keeps the flow of twitching critters coming. Okay, so we're done with the tram. Who didn't So it's saying that one first. Because I think this guide assumes we have mining for some reason. Our bar is still green, so no need to train. If you've come looking for the finest craftsmanship on this or any other continent in the world, then you've come to the right place. Grim and Elmore, at your service. The Stormpikes are a respected Dwarven clan and are well known for their fine and discerning tastes. So it's no wonder that Gringer Stormpike, a mountaineer of Ironforge, commissioned me to craft him a weapon. The weapon is finished, but Mountaineer Stormpike is far away, in distant Loch Modan. If you plan on traveling to the north, can you deliver this package to him? My last message from Mountaineer Stormpike said he's stationed at the Northern God Tower in Loch Modan. Ah, a request from one of the Stormpikes. That's a proud clan, full of quality dwarves. Rich ones too. Thank you, adventurer. I'll get to work on Mountaineer Stormpike's shield by the end of the day. Do we need any leatherworking stuff? Dude, we have 38, so yeah, we can. So let's do that first. Um, we don't need stamina spurt. So we're going to keep making the cheap ones. I sell only the best gear, tested and true. And the prices are set. So if you want to haggle, then go find a goblin. Uh, let's see her. Stolen music always wins, dude. Let's see, can we train more? Oh, we can. So buy 10 more. Dude, we can do even more. That's crazy. Hmm. I guess I can take on another student. Well, don't just stand there. Tell me what you're looking to learn. Some pretty good bracers, but we'll keep the leather, leather we have now.
All right. Let's see if we can train daggers and bows. That's 20 silver down the drain. Have you come seeking training in the ways of armed combat? Do this crossbows as well. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, we can't get bows here. It's at uh, Night Elf area. So two-handed swords. So we'll train dagger. Two-handed sword. Do we go to like no money? Be careful. Can we put this as offhand? You cannot deal wield. So for now, we're gonna just equip the dagger. You come seeking training in the ways of armed combat. So we need we need to get all the two-handed stuff down first. Stuff. Crossbow. I don't think it's needed Alliance. that much there, yet. Or is there something specific I can help you find today? Be careful. Our pet is hungry again. Okay, grab the flight point, and then I guess we're gonna run. Looks like the Goldshire. We're gonna accept the quest there. Let's probably do Hogger also. And we I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to Westfall. These great beasts, no paths that you can't find on foot. They'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time. It's fast to swim. Gold sellers. Not gonna lie, I was actually considering becoming a gold seller. Uh, I, all I did in Season of Discovery was GDKPs the whole time. And I was the host. And what I did was I only bought stuff when other people don't bid. Uh, because there was a disenchanter, let's be honest here. I had 10 characters that was level 20 or level 25. Uh, we did a dungeon over here the whole time on repeat. It's actually higher up in Ashenvale. Uh, so we did uh, BFD the whole time. Like, the whole time. 10-man uh, BFD. Uh, spammed that, like, literally the whole day. Uh, like I said. That's all I did. Um, and I think in combination of all my characters, I have 2,000 gold. Which is kind of ridiculous. Um, one of the... was probably one of the richest people playing Season of Discovery back then. Um, but then they decided to ban GDKPs in Season 2. Uh, which is... Um, this dungeon here. No more gone. They decided to ban GDKPs. So I was like, well, if they ban GDKPs, then I'm not going to play the game. Because, like, I, I honestly don't get it. Why, would, why, why they would ban something that's a huge, huge community behind. Greetings. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. Hello, my lady. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn mines. The Fargo Deep Mine to the south and Jasper Load Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. Adventurer, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. 
Murlocs are swimming up the streams of Eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentlefolk, I warned Marshal Dugan. But he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, adventurer, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find kobolds in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south, and around the Jasper Lode Mine to the northeast. So my thoughts is that, you know, there's a lot of people complaining that they do GDKPs, and then they go and bid against a, a gold buyer, and that's why it's unfair. In my opinion is, you either make gold, or you get items, like... The Brackwells have a prize-winning pig, princess. The sow is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. So before she comes to our fields, princess must die. Bring me her collar as proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your time. Princess is usually over at the Brackwell pumpkin patch to the east and beyond the McClure farm. Get her before she gets hungry and comes back here. I lost my necklace and think that gutter snipe Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me and you'll warm an old widow's heart. So yeah, that is just my opinion. Like, there's so many people complaining about it. Dude, I've... I don't know how many times I've seen a purple weapon drop and I'm like, dude, I want it so badly. But then you know that there's a gold buyer in your group. So you just bet a decent amount. Let's say 200 gold. And if he goes higher than that, then who cares, bro? Who cares, right? You're gonna do it anyway. Like, it's anyway gonna be as weak as a, a blue once you go to Nomergon. It's no longer gonna be best in slot. So, in all honesty, who cares, like, whether you get the item or not? Like, it's not a big deal. It's, it's, it's not, like, it's not gonna hinder your progress at all. Like in the next season, that that item is useless anyway. The only the only item that was purple that was useful uh, in Nomergon, in my opinion, is the forty slot bag, uh, shard bag for warlocks. Other than that, everything else was like not even mandatory to have. Oh, I'm cursed. My heart. So to sure, if you want to farm PVP, which I've done with four characters, they were maxed out in PVP. Ache to Dude, it doesn't really matter. Like, in all honesty, at the end of the day, it, it really doesn't matter. Because you're just gonna be... The next season coming out in every three months or so, you're just gonna be weak again, right? You'll be the strongest level 25, sure. But you'll be weak again once everyone's at level 40. And also, it doesn't, it, it doesn't cater towards speed. Just because you do more damage doesn't mean you'll level up faster than someone that literally doesn't sleep for two, three days and get max level. Like, they're gonna level up before you. And you go to work because, like, you buy gold, so you need money. Like, it, it, it really doesn't matter. I, I honestly don't see it as an issue. So, I don't know if GDKPs is back because I made so many videos about, like, why GDKP is good for the, for the game. Um, hey there. And the, literally the only bad thing, the only bad thing about GDKP is, is people buying gold. If anyone can find a way but in most of my games, well, I would say in 99% of my games, people were betting like normal amounts. Like I've seen uh, the purple bow uh, went for 500 or 600 gold. Now that could have been a buyer for sure, right? Enough, but sure does make for some even that is like Here really and when you give this pie to that billy you tell him i hope he chokes on it while our families are feuding tommy joe and maybell don't have much of a future but maybe we can get them together for just a little while mm, what can we do i bet william pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers here take this note to william he's staying at the lion's pride inn in goldshire
So yeah, I just I just don't comp get comp uh, people complaining about it. Like if you if you don't want to do GDKPs, just join a guild, dude. Be in a guild, do your guild with you know guild raid and hope you roll enough because like GDKPs is made for people that is like eager to get the strongest as fast as possible, and people like me that has like forty characters. Well, I don't have forty. I had twelve, if I'm not mistaken. I'll. I'll, I'll show you guys at the end of this video, like, how many characters I had at level 20. Um, but the YouTube channel just suffered, so I decided to, like, play other games as well. Um, especially after they announced they banning GDKPs, because, like I said, I was going to make my money uh, off selling gold. Um, not going to lie, I was planning to eventually be a seller, um, but not, like sell all my gold i was gonna sell very small amounts um just to be able to like pay for my monthly fee on 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 this game because like it's it's for a small channel like 15 dollars like especially if you do it full time uh 15 dollars a month it's quite a lot of money you know so i was like i'm just gonna sell about 15 dollars worth of gold every single month i'll make it back so fast anyway by just spamming GDKPs way more than anyone else will. But yeah, when they decided to ban GDKPs, I, I decided to just quit the game. And to be honest, I miss Season of Discovery. I think it is pretty awesome. Um, but it's extremely unbalanced, bro. Like, and there's people that will argue like how like the game is balanced. Dude, there is no way. Druids is by far the best healer. Because they can out-damage anything and heal more than anyone. AoE, single target. Druids is completely broken. I have soloed. I have solo healed um, some of my dungeons as a druid healer. I've solo healed. And then we have one tank. One tank that is a warrior that plays arms. He's not even a tank. He's playing uh, arms warrior. So we have nine DPS and a healer that sometimes out DPS some of our DPS, dude. It's it's absolutely ridiculous, like how broken the game was and unbalanced. And people can say, oh, it's balanced. No, it wasn't even close to balanced, bro. Not not even slightly. Um. And if you like know how to mage heal, that's also really strong. And I would I would like put uh, maybe priests. I don't know. Priests is a battle. In the start of BFD, like you had to have priests because people are like, oh, you have to cleanse. Uh, no, it's a DPS race. <laughs> so, uh, you don't need cleanse at all. It's just a DPS race. That's it. Um. But yeah, it was it was a fun experience. Let's just let's just say that. I I personally just think uh, banning GDKPs was uh, a big mistake because I know of a few people. Like I was, I would say I was in a group of people that like literally only does GDKPs because once you're fully farmed, what do you do? What, what do you do with that character? Well, you carry GDKPs and you get gold. Now, if your character is fully geared, what do you do now? Well, you make an alt because like you're not going to carry scrubs or a low level players, right? You, you're going to just play an alt because there is no, there's no, no reason for you to be inside the dungeon anymore or inside the, the raid. So you incentivize people that is geared to carry ungeared people. So the way it, it works is you you take uh, three to five sellers, which is geared, and then you get five uh, buyers. And you want to get them somewhat to compete against each other. Like you don't want to just have one mage. You'll have like, you know, mage and warlock, and you'll have... Uh, maybe two hunters, right? Because that bow is very valuable. So there, there is a specific way to set it up. And I was, I was always the healer inside the GDKPs. 
uh, just because like I I know how to heal. How are? Thanks for the dust adventure. I had two shamans, two druids, max level. A token from associates of mine. Um, I was also tanking with a warlock. It was pretty fun. This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, adventurer. And hold a moment. I'm I don't know, man. Like, for you. it it Thanks it you really know. discourages me that people complain about. Oh, GDKP is pay to win. Uh, well, in a sense it is, but also it's at the same time it's not. Um, most people like me, for example, I'm very conservative with my gold. I'm not going to go and spend my gold on something that's overpriced. Like a buyer can do it because like it doesn't matter to them. For me, gold has value. Of a Murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you and the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this travel to the okay, like that. and speak with guard. Tom. And I'm not going to spend my hard earned gold on something that's overpriced. Bring me his report. And after you like literally religiously spam GDKPs, you plus minus get an idea what a price is. For the candles, and you should know when to let it slide or when to bid. Uh, when to just like bid, you know. But yeah, I, I get why people hate it. It's just the people that hate it don't even do it. They have zero sense of... My what it is even or how it works Maybell and Tommy Joe they they think they know how it works there must be something I can oh all these gold buyers they ruined the game okay but how does it influence you really like I I honestly don't get it but to make the liquor if you get someone that pays the three hundred dollars for gold right how does it influence you really like I, I honestly like if you can explain that to me then maybe i'll be fine you know like getting that point across then i'll maybe understand but on average i'm like dude it, it doesn't influence you like let the fucking guy play the game as he wants like i honestly just don't get it uh, and I, I do understand that buying and selling gold is against TOS. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, like, who are we to judge, honestly? It's not your job to judge. You can just report the guy if you want. But at the end of the day, like, if they're not banning the high high tier people, playing hardcore that does GDKPs with a fresh level 60, their first level 60 character, and they have for some reason 20,000 uh, gold in their bag. If you don't ban them, then, then, you know, why should you care about the average Joe that doesn't make nearly as much money as them that is doing the same thing? Because at the end of the day, it just doesn't matter. It, it honestly doesn't matter. In fact, I prefer carrying these gold buyers because... At the end of the day, I do GDKPs to make gold. And you can say, hey, gold is not valuable. Gold is extremely valuable. Everything in this game, it's like, it's like real life. It's saying... Bro, like money is not valuable. No. <laughs> if you need money and you don't have it, it's the most valuable thing in life, right? Like you get an injury. Oh, you can't afford it. You can't uh, afford healthcare. Uh, oopsie. Well, you get in a fight with your parents and you want to move, want to move out. Well, you can't afford a place. Well, what then? Sure, money is not a big factor, but like it is one of the best resources in the world to have. And that is exactly what gold is. You could literally buy anything. And I literally mean anything. I can say literally anything. You don't like PvP, but you enjoy PvE? Well, just do GDKPs and then buy some, like pay someone that's really good in PvP 
and uh, he would uh, duel with you until you get to certain rank. It, it's honestly that simple. That guy would solo carry you, you know, all the way to the rank your heart desires. Obviously, the higher it goes, the more it becomes. And that is literally life, dude. Like, gold is everything in this game, no matter what you say. So I endorse these people that buy gold and join my duty guppies because, like, it's it's worth it. Like, sure, it, it sucks when there's an item and you only have 20 gold, right? There's an item you really want and you don't get it. But who the fuck cares, bro? Just breathe and do it again next week. It's not like you're gonna die because you didn't get that item, dude. You're gonna get 20 gold instead of spending 20 gold. Like, what the fuck's the problem? But yeah, that is my rant about it. I really disliked all these big channels. It's like, oh, it's the best thing to ban it because it's going to bring the price down of gold. And it didn't. <laughs> Why? Because now people buy bind on, bind on quips, uh, BOEs, right? They're still really, really good by BOEs. <laughs> it's just GDKPs doesn't exist anymore. And if it does, it's like a hardcore underground group that will never stream it or, you know, make it public. But as soon as I understood what GDKPs was, because I didn't know what it was until Season of Discovery, right? I never really had gold. So my friend, I wouldn't say my friend, one of my guild members made a group. And he's like, okay, it's going to be a GDKP. I'm like, dude, I don't even know what it is. And he's like, okay, well, how much gold do you have? I, I, I said on this character, I have like 20 gold. He's like, it's fine. Okay, just bid on items that you need. I'm like, bid? What do you mean? He's like, okay, the 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 items that drops goes all to the, guild, the, to the group leader. And then at the end of the guild, he sells the items. And then all gold goes into a pool. And then it gets split among the people inside the group that, that took part in the group. I was like, dude, that sounds awesome. So I did my first GDKP. I didn't get a single item, even though I bet on like four of them. And uh, I made like 10 gold, bro. Like or 15 gold or something. I was like, bro, you know what? That is awesome. So now I'll send this 15 gold to my next character. <laughs> and just do another GDKP. And I kept on doing that until eventually, you know, I, I get stuff for like extremely cheap <laughs> and it was just uh, the way to go. I just kept doing it until like there's a decent amount of people not buying or bidding. Hail adventurer. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshear and the Eastvale logging camp suffer. Yeah, I did bid 900 gold and stuff and I didn't get it. You could use your help for my druid. The warlock won it, a tank warlock. He bid 1,200 after I put down 900. I'm like, dude, I had that gold, but it's not on this character. <laughs> and one of my rules was you can only bid gold that is in your character's bag. You can't say hey wait let me go get some more gold because like that would be not not okay but i think that item is not worth that much you know i was i was already on max pvp uh because druid healing is just broken like busted beyond repair um but yeah it was Priest, priest in, in, in PvP healing is also pretty good. Mages, on the other hand, is not that, not that good. Maybe for Alliance it's better, right? That increased intel for, for gnomes could be really good, but... For a Horde side, wasn't that good.
You know, people people should get banned that is like toxic to the community. That is like bad mouthing everyone. That is uh just not good people to be around, right? I feel like that should be bannable offense. But if I want to play a game a certain way, and a specific group is not happy about it, well, guess what? I'm not paying them to play the game. I'm not playing 95, 99% of the time. I'm not even in their circle. They wouldn't even know about me. I've already that I even exist. Right? If you could collect eight bundles of so like, <laughs> I might just make my deadline. I honestly don't get the issue here when people say, oh, they are doing GDKPs and that's why they're all based in slots. Like, okay. Who cares? Right? Like, I play a game a certain way, you play it a certain way. You're in a guild. You're most probably a guild master. You give yourself uh you know, some extra percentages on rolls or some shit. Or just say, hey, I'll always be there because I'm, I'm, I don't know, roll priority or some shit. I don't judge when you do that. Like, who, who are you to judge me for buying my items? You know, paying other people for, you know, for, for gear. The worst thing, like, this is when I stopped also playing with the guild. The worst thing is when you do a whole run and you need, like, two items. And those items don't drop. Or it even does drop, but you're, like, mid-roll and someone else rolled higher than you. Like, there's no worse feeling, bro. Like, you're sitting there like, okay, I just wasted an hour and a half to do this dungeon. And I go home with nothing, dude. I go home with nothing. I just spend all this time literally wasted on nothing. Because my single item that I need didn't drop. Dead. Yeah, my boar's dead here. That sucks. Don't have mana to revive. They all spawned on me, dude, I swear. There's a chest here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Quickly, these things spawn really fast, dude. We're going to go for this chest. My boar is dead again. That's probably. Ah, uh, boar is fine.
Fuck. combat. It's funny how people also say like, oh, that guy must be a GDK peer. That's why he's so strong. Bro, inside my guild, my guild leader gave himself any item he needs. Any item. It could be whatever. Any item. Like if he needs it, he takes it. Is that worse than GDKP? For sure. And the items that he didn't need, he would he would set that up for rolling. Oh, there's a dead guy here. He would set that up for rolling. So like you wouldn't even know about the people that does GDKP. You you wouldn't even know it. Because like there are some people out there that does it, you know. That just takes the items. And like, sure, you can say you don't want to be in that guild, but it is one of the best guilds on that server. So like, you still will stay in the guild. I don't know if you guys watched your favorite streamers do the same thing. They, they're they sitting there like, hey, let's make a group, you know, with my viewers. And uh, if there's an item I need, I'll just, I just take it. You know, I just equip it instantly. And if there's no item I need, I'll put it up for rolling. That's what most, I would say, guild leaders are doing. Not all, but like most of them are doing that. And then what do they do after they reach the highest, uh, the highest gear? They just go PvP. They do world PvP. And like... You know, people automatically assume, oh, he's a GDK peer. <laughs> he look how strong he is. <laughs> look at those items. Oh. But in the meantime, he never did a GDKP once. <laughs> Not even slightly. He's just a gold, uh, he's just a, a guild leader that is literally just piggybacking off his team, off his guild. What most of these guild leaders do is they pair themselves to be the only XYZ player, right? For example, they'll be the only male leader. So they won't pair with other male users. So you would, like if he's a warrior, you wouldn't, because he was a warrior, you wouldn't play with another warrior into his, in, into his team. Uh, but like even trinkets or weapons, like he doesn't put it up for rolling. He just says, thank you. That's mine. Next week is yours. But then he goes in PvP then it's like, <gasps> GDKP. Must be. Okay, did you just guess it? Or... <laughs> uh, or like what's up how do you know it
But yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Like, I'm sure I still have, like, really good gold compared to other people in that game. But most probably won't go back to it. Ever. Mainly because I'm just sad that I, I rolled Horde. I wanted to roll Alliance, but the people I played with were like, No, 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 go Horde, dude, go Horde. I was like, well, okay. Then I'll, I'll make a Shaman then, I guess. Then I was sad it was a Torn. It was just bad, bro. And I played with those guys for like a week. Left their guild because... None of them are my max level. And then eventually, after, I don't even know, two months, they were still recruiting. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll join you guys now. I did one raid with them on No More Gone, one. And the guy got so pissed off because I said, I can't remember what I said. I, I told him that he should have made, two, oh yeah, this is what, I, I told him he should have made two different groups. We were 14 people, right? So he made one group and said the other four should uh, should play with pugs. So I told him, like, it's better to split it up in seven. Make seven people. Then it's only three pugs each and we'll have majority on the guild still. And then he got so pissed off that I made a suggestion. Okay, I don't know what my pet just did. He just got like furious that I made a suggestion and I was like, bro, like, can you just chill? Just, just say when you don't want me to talk. And he's like, I didn't want you to talk. If I would have asked you for your input, I would have, I would have barked like a dog or some shit like that. I was like, dude, okay, well, if you feel like that, I'm just out of the guild. Thanks. Bye. So I didn't join, like, I didn't even join their first dungeon or their first raid. He just instantly, like, acted like I'm hostile towards their guild by making a suggestion which completely makes sense. Like, if you're 14 people that want to raid, just split it up in two, like, down the middle. Easy peasy. It's easier to go with you know, seven people from the guild and do the raid, then it is to go with uh, as four and just get six randoms. Like, you're not gonna, you're most probably not gonna make the, the, the raid. You're not gonna make the dungeon, right? Well, but with seven, you have way bigger odds, way bigger chance. You can, like, if you do fail, you can try it with less people tomorrow. But if you're with the randoms, there's just a chance you'll never be. You need to be exalted with the humans of Stormwind before I will teach you a riding skill, adventurer. Hey there. Ooh. Thirty-one silver, dude. Requires level eleven. We need to sort out our bags a bit, honestly. We're not going to use drinks. We're not going to use first aid. We're not going to use that or this. But yeah, this topic just brings back like bad memories again. In all honesty. Light. Excellent. Thanks to you, I should be able to complete the order in time. I would have... Gratitude, I would like to offer some coin as compensation for your troubles. Thank you and farewell. I would have never joined a guild in the first place if GDKP was not banned. That single-handedly just ruined the game for me. 
So what if I just play one character and I have full gear? What then? Do I just stop playing the game? Do I just PvP and wait for the next season? So what you just removed so much content by just banning one thing. I had an Excel sheet with like all my character names and like marking them, doing their weeklies. Uh, also doing once a week that PvP event they had. Like there was so much I kept track of, dude. To play 10 characters at the highest capacity I could. And it all just fell through the floor by one blue post. I was planning to become like the the richest in the game. Defia's gang in Northshire wears burlap masks, but the Defias in Elwyn wear linen, which I can use to make fine linen goods. Bring me red linen bandanas, and I'll use them to fashion something for you. Defias gang members have camps pocketed throughout Elwyn. I was planning to become the richest person in the game that didn't buy gold. Let's just say that. <laughs> Just selling like $15 worth to pay my monthly expense in the game. King's honor, friend. You have confirmed my and I wouldn't do it the Murlocs are a threat we can if they just put a token. Dugan of Malachi and Rolf's deaths and report to him that the Murlocs in Eastern Elwyn cannot be contained by our current troop presence. I know we don't have many troops to spare, but hopefully Dugan can find someone. Thanks a lot for the help, adventurer. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. Looks to me you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, adventurer. If you haven't already, you should report to Gryan Stoutmantle. He heads up the people's militia aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. You can usually find him in the stone tower on Sentinel Hill just off the road in the middle of Westfall. If they just put up a wild token, I wouldn't have done it anyway. Because I, I, all I want was to play the game for free. Make the game pay for itself. And then also try and become the richest on the game. if he needs princess. Like people don't know who to watch on, 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 on YouTube when it comes to actually good content. Would, would you rather watch a guy that is like li literally every single time he's playing is he's, he's making groups and then stealing from his viewers? Or would you rather watch someone that is like earning everything, uh, you know, by just playing the game? and has so many different characters that's like really high.
Thanks a lot. Because I know who I would rather watch. And I would I would know for a fact who I won't support. <laughs> I don't care how entertaining they are, I will not watch them if they treat their viewers like that. But that's a dead body right there. Most probably a paladin. He has a spade in his hand. But yeah, it was, it was really fun, dude. Like, played the game extremely serious, was one of the higher people in the game. That had no views, literally zero. Like, I was streaming the whole time. Had no views. You can thank me by subscribing to my YouTube channel, dude. <laughs> we need one more bandana, bro. Goodness. Does it even exist? Manhunt. Can you, can you?
Sub to my YouTube as a thanks. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you'll enjoy the channel. You know what I'm saying? It wants a link. Kings, ah, uh, these are nice bandanas, if a little rough. Here you are. Hmm. Is out of my inventory? Don't you know? Uh, these are nice bandanas, if a little rough. Here you are. Uh, let me just get him a link. Okay, we're on our way now to Red Ridge, I think. Yes. And then we'll fly back to... Yeah, I don't think we're ready for Red Ridge yet. We're most probably ready for... For Westfall, I would say. Feed our pet. We also need to go learn mend. It's very important that we get that. Yeah, we're gonna actually accept quests here. Oh man. Hail, adventurer. I am charged to patrol this stretch of road. Although the road is safe for now, I've seen knoll encampments to the north and east of here. Lakeshire must know of the gathering knoll force. Report to Deputy Felden in Lakeshire and tell him of the knolls. Do this, and I'm sure Felden will offer you a scout's wage. Felden's usually inspecting the area south of the bridge to Lakeshire. Dude, we can, like... I'm pretty sure we can actually skin them. That's how high our skinning is at the moment. Level 18 Harpy, that would suck. There are Red Ridge Knolls that close to Elwyn. They may be poised to advance into our homeland. Soon, the people of Lakeshire may not be the only humans under siege. Here is your pay, though you bring us dire news. And it comes at a bad time, for we are ill-equipped to deal with it. We don't have men to spare, but something must be done about those knolls you reported to me. Scout Southern Red Ridge for knolls. Harry them, kill those you can, and report back to me with a count of their numbers and an assessment of the threat they present. You may find those knolls camped all along the southern road of Red Ridge. Do this for the Stormwind Army, adventurer, and you will be rewarded. Oh, it's... I... Oh, 
Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. I don't know. So they're saying split. It's actually split pulling. I, I was I was reading spirit pulling. So you damage you AOE damage everyone, and then you just attack one while running away, and then everything else gets reset. Hello. Here is your payment. And while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or other trinket you'd find useful. Dude, we need to clear out this bag again, dude. Good news. Just browsing my wares, or is there something specific I can help you find today? Dude. Alligator. <laughs> like I care about split pulling, dude. Small venom sack. We need to buy bullets also. Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now, what can I help you with? Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend, won't find any better. Now, what can I help you with? These guys are not selling, uh... Alliance. Ammo pouches. Sorry, bullets. They're selling quivers. Or arrows. But not... Bullets. Okay, now we just gotta run again to Goldshire. Actually, can I can I get my Hunter Trainer up, dude? Directions to. Class Trainer. Which class trainer are you looking for? Thorfinn Stone Shield came to us all the way from oh my God. to bring us his expertise in hunting. If you don't mind breathing the smoke-filled air of the Dwarven District, then you'll find him at his house in the northeast area of the district. Because I think we can also get some pet training. Since this is this is done. And we have 25 points. <laughs> we need men pet and arcane shot too. Can't go without it. It's ex extremely important to our survival, I would say. I 
Especially now if we're gonna go for Hogger. I think you can Men Pit while in combat. While he's taking damage. Well met. Look at the wisdom and knowledge of the beast, and you will see yourself. Observe as the owl does. Learn cleverness from the saber cat. Embody the mighty spirit of the wolf. Look at the wisdom and knowledge of the beast, and you will see yourself. Observe as the owl does. Learn cleverness from the saber cat. Embody the mighty spirit of the wolf. How do we pet train, dude? You're a pet trainer, thank you. You've come for training in order to pass it on to your pets? See you soon. I wonder if Scorpions is broken in this game as well. The Scorpions was broken in Seasonal Discovery. Because the poison can stack on each other, just by the way. Dum 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 dum. Yeah, we're not gonna do dead mines within this video. That's unfortunate. But now we have men pet, dude. Pretty good stuff. Men pet on retail is a cost. It's not a channel. How much healing does Men Pet even do? Twenty health every second while you focus. Our pet has three hundred health. Twenty health every second lost five seconds, so it's a hundred HP. That is about what? 35%-ish. 40%. 150 is half. So about 35%, I would say. Very good stuff, I guess. But I guess we're gonna go to Westfall now. Looks like we're gonna do Hogger also. Greet it. Kobolds at the Jasper Load Mine, you say? Curses. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, adventurer. But I wish that the news you brought was good news. Hmm, this news is troubling. Already our defenses are stretched thin, and losing Rolf and Malachi to those murlocs put us in an even worse position. If things don't improve, there will be fighting in Goldshire by the week's end. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker here that is good for one piece of armor. 
I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the Eastvale logging camp. Give her the marker, and she will fashion the armor for you. And after you receive it, adventurer, use it in the defense of Elwyn. The Eastvale logging camp is beyond Guard Thomas's post to the east. The garrison on our western border sends word of increasing knoll and thief activity. They're requesting we send more Stormwind soldiers, but we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at the Westbrook Garrison and see what he needs done. The garrison is down the road to the west. After you cross the bridge over the small brook, it will be to the right. Cooking is a lifelong pursuit, and I see we share the same passion. What are you looking travels. for? It's all called beverage. It's the one we bought. Go with honor, friend. You, you got them. Good show. Now just one moment while I concoct the potion. I thought I did it. Take this invisibility liquor to young Maybell. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. Tommy Joe? Dude, we were in... The Oi, oi, oi. We were in uh, Stormwind and we didn't. We didn't do our profession. Our leatherworking stuff. Next time, next time, dude. Just our like inventory is full the whole time. So many people looking for a group for Hogger. Oh, my. I feel guilty deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, adventurer. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance and sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. Giving us five small potions. It's a pretty decent reward. They're saying that the, tw the first 20 levels for a paladin is the worst. It's probably boring, right? It's pretty much the same with hunters. The first 10 is the worst, but like at 20 you get your movement speed. Thank goodness. That pig was getting so big she'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, adventurer. Now, do either of these suit you? Not really. It's weaker. <laughs> no, it's not. Goodness, we have... Still baby shoes, dude. Anything else that's baby? No. No, it's not. I'm just gonna do Hogger, but like Hogger will require you to run back. 
Which, like, it, it looks like we are. I can't believe the officials in Stormwind sending the bulk of our army abroad when our home front is under so much pressure. With thieves coming from Westfall and gnolls encroaching from, from the east and west, it's a wonder Stormwind itself isn't besieged. Marshal Dugan sent you, huh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. Knolls, brutish creatures with no decent business in these lands, have been seen along the borders of Elwyn Forest. A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder. Another group has infested the areas near Stone Cairn Lake to the east. The Stormwind army will commend whoever helps kill them. Bring me their painted knoll armbands as proof of your deed. Dude, there's so many people here. What the heck? Dude, there's so many players, wow. Look at that freaking heels I'm doing on my pet, dude. Crazy. Solo the hogger, baby. Ooh. It's cloth, though, but it doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is, uh, is stats. Nice miss you got there.
Wait, we still have zero? My inventory is not full, dude. Now that I mentioned it, now we're getting stuff. Playing WoW Hardcore with booze. With a chill night. Really? It's Sunday, bro. What the heck? Are you an AI? No, not yet. Good answer. I'm just reading the guild every now and then. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. You will never be AI, ever. I guess that's why there were so many people here. It's just because they're like your items is just not dropping from them. Forgot we can make our pet stronger. Running decently low on ammo. We have 480 left. We have two unspent points. Is it just because I'm leveling up fast or I'm not paying attention? Definitely not leveling up fast. Let's let's get that out of the way right now. Five out of eight. the grab on from you you're okay right 
Okay, got it. You fear them. I tried to steal him, but I attacked him too fast. Still six out of eight, bro. Are you freaking kidding me? Turn out boring. Look how tanky this boar is, like honestly. Okay, wants us to run back to base. It's okay, then we can clear out the inventory also. Take the new quest. It says it's an upgrade. Come on, dude. Like, are you blind? <laughs> you have friends. for business nice see you around <laughs> well met ha ah, well done i was starting to think Ooh. About that monster here you are adventurer and thanks that noel was giving me a headache the size of black rock spire that's a good weapon Need help? Light bless you. Supply only the finest goods. Um, Safe travels. 
Dude, we want to buy bullets, honestly. I'm sorry, I'm a bit busy right now making horseshoes for Werner Osgood in Lakeshire. See you later. Hello. See you later. We're not getting bullets, bro. I mean, we don't really need bullets. We have a two-handed staff now that will do good damage. So I, I just said in the chat there, in the guild chat, like, I'm a white African, because he, he said, go to a gas station in Africa and you'll make friends. I'm like, dude, I am from South Africa. He's like, oh, hello, my brother. Like, no, 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 I'm a white South African. <laughs> uh, technically, yes. And we're like, no, 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 like, Elon Musk is also a white South African, right? Like, he was born and raised here, went to school. After school, he, uh, he went to America, started PayPal uh, with, like, three friends. Uh, well, three colleagues. Didn't see the future in it, sold it. Sold his share. Moved to other projects. And became the richest man in the world, right? He was born and raised here, went to school here, speaks Afrikaans, which is my native language as well. I see you've been busy. You have our thanks, adventurer. For the Alliance. Travel to Westfall, baby. Let's do it. Looks like we're just grabbing a few quests here. Might be the same as what we did with our rogue. And then they're going to send us back to... Loads of thanks, adventurer. As I was saying, these parts aren't fit for honest folk anymore. But if things get better, then this deed will let us reclaim our land. I don't have much to offer you, but here, take this. It was horrible. Verna woke me when she heard a ruckus in the fields. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush, and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Verna's PA gave me that watch on our wedding day, and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. I never thought the day would come when I'd leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves, and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Furlbrow gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor? Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall stew. Please take it to Salma Saldine over on the farm yonder. The Saldine's farm is just beyond the fork in the road. Poor old Blanche. Such a tired beast after all the work we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a few handfuls of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some around all of the farms in Westfall, if you can steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. There are several farms southwest of here. Look at what has happened to this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk, but the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. 
That Verna was always such a sweet lass. We'll miss her here in Westfall. But between you and me, she's a city girl at heart, and Stormwind will suit her just fine. But enough gossip. Now we can make Westfall stew. The onions are peeled. The garlic is minced. The rosemary is crushed. The crust has been baked. The dill weed is chopped. The gravy is simmering. Now all I need for my famous meat pie are eight Gortusk livers. Help me make some Westfall stew. Come back with the following ingredients. Three stringy vulture meat, three gore tusk snouts, three murloc eyes, three okra. Ah, so my friend sent you here? How kind. Well, the Stormwind monarchy has abandoned our cause. Now it is up to the people's militia to keep the land free from corruption. If our cause interests you, I can put your combat skills to use in the name of freedom. The people's militia has but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. Unfortunately, the price of peace is often blood. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias trappers wreaking havoc nearby. I have reports of Defias trapper sightings near the Jangle Load Mine to the northwest as well as at the Molson Farm and Pearlbrow's Pumpkin Farm. If you seek to join our ranks, slay 15 Defias trappers and 15 Defias smugglers, then return to me. Stormwind has abandoned us, a foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall. Track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the dead mines thieves. Bring me eight knoll paws, and I will reward your bravery. The Defias front is constantly shifting. I've been following their movements for quite some time now. On a side note, I've ascertained that many members of the gang can be tracked by the red leather bandanas they wear. Bring me 15 of these bandanas and I'll see to it you are rewarded. On the topic now of what is a woman. That to me is like a very stupid subject, dude. What is a woman? Bless you. A woman is someone that has a woman a vagina. Like, honestly, that is exactly what a woman is. Going? Well, if you're looking to get there quickly, then look no further. And you can say what you want, but like, that is a... It's, it's a sexuality. It's... No, no, it's not a sexuality. It's a... What is it called? It's your genitals. There we go. It's actually pretty straightforward. Dude. If you question your own sexuality or your own gender, then it's up to you, bro. Like, don't, don't involve me. Uh, buy small brown pouches. Uh, I, I actually have enough bags. We can buy the new guns uh, ammo now, actually. So... Show bags. One more. We'll, steep, we'll keep sp uh, using the small one because it doesn't really matter too much. Buy milk. We still have enough food, thank you. We we'll return to bark. The best miner has a firm grip on her pick, a stout heart in her chest, and thick black dust in her hair. You brought the picks? Great. I'll get these to my mining students. I'm sure they're eager to use them on the ore deposits of Loch Modan. Thank you for your help, adventurer. I am in your debt, but I hope this money will at least cover your travel costs. Buy a hunting rifle? I, I honestly don't think we should. What can I get for you today? Don't even see the dude. I don't want to buy a hunting rifle, dude. Thank you. My damage at the moment as it stands is good enough, as it is. 
Actually, guys, we are very close to two hours, so I'm going to just run to the innkeeper and then we'll end the episode there. At the moment, we are level 14, which is actually pretty fast. Like, I honestly think it's pretty fast. My... Like, I don't know how many... I think we made three episodes of The Hunter. I did, I did tell you guys I will show you how my Season of Discovery account looked like. If you hover over your bags, you can actually see your total gold on all your characters. You can see it's one gold on all my Alliance characters. Uh, but to do that... To do that, I will have to log into every character because I haven't gone to Season of Discovery in a while, right? But you can see, this is my level 40. This, this was my main character. I don't know what level you can go to now. But I just want to see how much gold we have. A hundred, a hundred and eighty. So it picked up three, and it, in total it's two hundred and seven gold. I log in, then I get the buff. Nice. And all I did, uh, what I was talking about was I I just did GDKP spans, uh, spans the whole time. So most of these characters, if not all, is best in slot. Uh, except for like, obviously the purple staff, the purple bow. I don't think I have any purples on any of my characters because it always goes for like an insane amount. Um, but all of these characters was best in slot. Um, the shaman was a healer. I have another shaman that's a tank. Um, look at this, dude. I'm scrolling, dude. So, let's just count. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, the rogue. Where's the rogue? rogue right? Yeah. So there's a rogue. 10, 11, 12. We have 12 level 25s. <laughs> and I was still leveling up more. Uh, still leveling up more for us to uh, to do GDKPs with. So this is my this was my tank shaman. Um pretty insanely strong tank. And then I had two druids. I I think I had three druids. No, it was only two druids. Um, this was a healer mage, then my hunter, was serpent, uh, it was, it was scorpion only, because scorpion was god tier strong, um, but they made it weaker. Uh, warriors, because you almost get everything for free if you're the only warrior. Oh yeah, my warrior has the, uh, purple... The purple sword. I forgot about that. I think my warrior is the only one with a purple weapon. And I think I got it within my first dungeon, dude. What level is this guy? Level 60. So see the discovery goes up to level 60 now. Wow. But yeah, we took it extremely serious in the start, but now it's just like, eh, you know. I really I really wanted to take it serious, but when they banned GDKPs, I was just done. I was just over it. But yeah, there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.